today we are playing Quest for Glory 1 Randomizer. This is uh, every year I do a request month, and one of the top requests this year was for me to attempt Quest for Glory 1, the EGA Randomizer. Um, if you're not familiar with this, I wasn't familiar with this. This just came out at the time of this recording, uh, not even a year ago, I think. Uh, someone took it upon themselves. I'm sorry I'm not getting giving out the uh, appropriate credit, but it's out there. It's free. Just do a search for Quest for Glory 1 Randomizer. And what it does is this. It makes the game much more interesting. It's not the game that we normally think of when we think of Quest for Glory 1. Everything, all the item locations have been randomized, which completely changes the uh, the approach to this game. It's like a whole new adventure game at this point. This is going to be ridiculous. Uh, this is sort of the behind the scenes right here. If you want to play it yourself the exact same game I'm playing, here's the patch number. You can apply that to your game. But um, a few other things. I guess we have survival mode on. We're not starting with a weapon. I don't even know what class we're going to be. We're classless. Maybe that just means we're not a specific class. Maybe it means what it says. It means we have no class. Well, we have no class here on Let's Play with Brigands. Um... We get killed when we enter a battle without a weapon, which sucks, because as I just said, we don't have a weapon at the start. We have to find the weapon. We can't even, like, buy it from the weapons guy. There's not really a weapons guy in this game, but we have to find the weapon. It could be it could be in the healer's tree. It could be the hermit could have it. We might have to buy it from the apple selling centaur lady. I don't know. This is going to be insane. Um... And uh, and our skills are all over the place, too. I don't even know. I'm not starting with any specific skills. These are all going to be random. I want this to be as random as possible. Let's start the game and hope for the best. <laughs> this only applies to the EGA version of the game, by the way. There we go. All right, yeah, the, the Hero's Quest. So as much as I'd love to apply it to the VGA, which might make this even more messy because I have to type in a lot of things and... I don't always know what to type. We'll see. Let's just let's give it a shot. Let's see what everyone got me into by way of their request this year. So we have the normal intro. Nothing random about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's watch the intro. Get some context here, I guess. It's mostly just credits, I think. Sierra presents. Be nice if they randomized the credits as well. <laughs> oh my god. Like, put uh, Al Lowe as the creator of this game instead. That would be very random. Quest for Glory. I've only played this version on the channel. We'll turn this down just for a second. I've only played this version on the channel. I think we did our casting expels magic user on, which was a lot of fun. So this is my second time with the EGA version. Don't have nearly as much experience with this one. Do you want to be a hero? I don't know. Has that been randomized as well? Do I want to be a hero? I don't even know. So we're going to have to be very careful to start. Sneak around if possible. Try not to get into any battles before we have a weapon. Normal credits. Alright. That's good. Let's get into this. So I don't think this matters. Like, I think I could pick Fighter, and it's not really going to affect anything. We're just this guy. All right, so these are the random stats we've rolled. We have no magic abilities. Okay. We can't throw, which always seemed kind of... <laughs> it's like, quick. Oh, uh, we need to give our guy a name. Um, uh, This is Quest for Glory 1 Random. I did not put any thought into this, actually. We need, like, some synonyms for random, I think. How about Chance... McRandom, because this is still Let's Play with Brigands. What are we without our ridiculous names? Um, okay. Can I add any points to... I still can add points. We can't add anything to parry. These are locked by way of the randomizer, so is what it is. We're not going to be picking any locks, which might be tricky because I think some of the stuff might be hidden behind doors we can only access... If we have pick lock skill, I don't know. I think we're meant to be able to beat this no matter which way it goes, I think. 
Otherwise, this is going to be very disappointing and frustrating. Um, we need some strength because when you're very confused, you need something to rely on. We need some agility. Got to be sneaky. Oh, we do have stealth. Okay. Maybe I'll put more into stealth so that less monsters see us until we get a weapon. Actually, I'm going to put everything into stealth because I'm terrified of how this is going to go. All right. Chance McRandom. He's very stealthy. He's no Thiefy McSteals. I don't know. He started off better than Thiefy McSteals, actually, but this is a very different world. Look at that pathetic HP and stamina total. All right. Let's enter this strange new world. The Quest for Glory 1 randomizer there at the top. This quiet little town seems a bit off. Ever since you arrived in this valley, you've had a strange sensation that things are not where they should be. So that is obviously reflecting the version of the game which we are playing. The man with the pipe greets you. Welcome to our town. I understand you might be confused about the state of this valley. Well, you're not the first. You'll get used to it in time. Here's a tip. You can ask any shopkeeper about their store and they'll list what they have for sale. Though your pockets do seem to be a bit light, are you sure you came prepared for your quest? I did not. You may have to hunt around for money, tools, and resources. Well, you seem like the adventuring type. I'm sure you'll figure things out. Famous last words. Our name is Chance McRandom. Good luck on your quest, Chance McRandom. All right, we have our test. We can get rid of this. Well, I guess it'll just hang out. Chance one. There's more than a hint of ogre about this strange and bulky character. He seems cheerful, though. All right, this isn't going to be the normal, like, we experience everything. We're just out here to survive and try to cobble together some sort of solution to this game. And I think they put in, a, like, a couple helpful things for us. Like the, the lock check. Um, okay, so this is just all the stuff in the game that we need to find, essentially. But I think... And what else did we have? And we have the journal as well. Okay. So this is sort of like a reminder of like where things are because everything's been randomized. Can't say that enough. Quest for Glory randomizer. So I think if we go to one of these shops and we find out what they're selling, this will be a reminder as to, oh, okay, I can buy the so-and-so at that shop, and that's how I can remember that. Um, and then I guess this will tick off things as we, uh, as we collect them. All right, what do we do? Well, we already saved. Let's turn up the animation as well. Check our pockets. All we have is armor right now. Sheriff calls out behind you, just a friendly suggestion. But whatever you do, don't drink the dragon's breath. Not even Otto can drink dragon's breath. I can't afford dragon's breath, friend. I can't even afford apples. You can smell apples. I thought the only time you could smell apples is if they were, like, open. And The pretty young centaur looks at you and says, Good day and welcome to Spielberg. Do you wish to buy some nice fresh fruits or vegetables? Do you even have those things? Here's what I have in my stall. An empty flask for 115 silver. Oh my god. I thought I smelled apples. It must have been the troll beard for 85 silvers. I think I am suffering from a concussion. or These are like stroke-like symptoms, I believe. Oh well. Alright, so now I think if we bring up our journal. Yep, there we go. Now we can remember that... We can buy an empty flask or bits of a troll beard at extortionate rates of uh, 115 or 85 silver, respectively, at Hild Stall. Don't be looking on a troll for no troll beard. I'll tell you that right now. That's, uh, you're barking up the wrong tree. If you want some apples, you look in a troll's beard. <laughs> All right, let's see what this guy's selling. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you coming in. My, you look like an adventurer. We don't see too many around here. The brigands, there you go, tend to get rid of most adventurers before they make it to town. You may be in luck. I carry a modest amount of adventurers equipment behind the counter. Would you like to make a purchase? All right, by adventurers equipment, you of course mean... I of course mean a flask of Miller Lite. Can't be adventuring with that. 405 silvers is the going rate for a Miller Lite here in Spielberg? <laughs> Dude. I mean, come on. 
in, in our world, Miller Lite is generally nothing against the brand, but it's associated as being kind of a, a more affordable beer, let's say that. They ain't charging no 405 silver for that. Okay. I could buy five beautiful flowers for 140 silver. A magic potion for 40 silver. Oh, great. The cheapest thing that I have a chance at affording, I have no use for because I don't know squat about magic. And a piece of paper for four? <laughs> I missed that. All right. Good to know. This is uh, this is why they need, you know, I, I don't want to get all political here, but a little government regulation so you're not paying 420 pieces of silver or 405 for a Miller Lite. <laughs> Alms for the poor. I got no money, man. I'll give you the armor off my back. Give money. You reach in your pocket and suddenly realize you have no money to give. This guy's silver for the poor. Man, I'm broker than you. I should be panhandling you. The grimy window lets little light into this tavern. It smells like stale ale and other more unpleasant things. Like apples? Does it smell like Miller Lite? For 405 silvers, the floor is covered with dirt and the bar is sticky with beer. Smoke appears to be rising from the center cask behind the bar. To your right, two gamblers are playing cards. The bartender glares at you as you enter, and so does the ugly goon on the left. You get the impression that you are not welcome. I'm still going to try to order a dragon's breath. What do you want? Order the breath. Bartender is empathetic as he tells you, If you want a mug of dragon's breath, house rules say it'll have to be cash up front. You tell the bartender you don't have enough working capital at this point in time. <laughs> Too bad, buddy, you're missing a real treat for sure. Oh, uh, okay. Got any 436s? Talk to Butcher. Intent on their game. So can we get into... Shut up, fellas. Can I get into the uh, Thieves Guild? Talk to Goon. He's ignoring us. He just, just got to try again. <laughs> As you ask him questions, the Goon's eyes darken. Uh-oh, it looks like you got Crusher upset. Like that animation Rrr, of me smacking the microphone, apparently. I'll be more careful. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, are we sneaking? We gotta be sneaking. Chance McRandom, stealth 65. Yeah, we need this. All right, we gotta find some money or something. This is crazy. If we're ever gonna, okay. If we're ever gonna sniff a Miller Lite. Traditional heads line the walls. Do I get some money for signing this book for some reason? Is the pen here? The pen's still here, that's nice. Let's read the board, see if anything random is happening here. Lost ring, choir at the healers. I'm surprised she doesn't, she's not missing, uh, uh, I don't know, some meat fur or something. <laughs> Brigand leader, unknown. 60 gold coins. That, that could buy you a few Miller lights. Rather dusty and faded. 50 gold for rescuing Elsa. Thiefy Jr.'s bride, if you saw that, uh, that episode. Spell components needed. Short, ugly, wears brightly colored robes. And the baronet is missing as well. Let's try talking to this guy. Heck, I was so busy I didn't notice you come in. Welcome. It's so seldom we have new adventures. Most people think this valley the act curse with inflation. Brigand Fort. Is it a Minotaur or is it like a, a dwarf in this world? Something more random. Ask about stuff. Schultz and I. Wait. Ask about Miller Light. <laughs> Don't use the word Miller. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mention it either. I found out how much it cost. Alright, let's find out how much Zara is charging and for what. Ask about shop. Food rations for 150. Oh my god, are we gonna starve because we can't afford the, these prices? How does everything cost so much in this game? That seems unnecessary. Alright, 
Well, so now we have, sorry, now we have all that information. All right, well, let's hit some of the spots that I can still wrap my head around. Stuff where I know things are. Dangerous and confusing place. Like, for instance, I know that we can go, and I need to save a lot while we're out here, because the second something attacks me, the game is over. Is there even a dryad over here? It's like a Chuck E. Cheese, okay? You follow the stag into this forest corner. You feel as though the eyes of the forest are watching you. Something special about this place. Couldn't even attempt to fight the stag, even if I had... Yes? Is that the right answer in Randomizer? <laughs> I friggin' hate the woods. I love you for that. Alright. She still wants the seed. I was half expecting the dry to be like, I could go for a Miller Light right now, random. Or chance. Alright. She says it's at the spore-spitting spot. Spore-spitting spot. Watch it be somewhere. All right, let's see. Are these still mushrooms? Get mushroom. As you bend over to pick up the mushrooms, you see a flask of fairy dust <laughs> resting just outside the mushroom ring. You pick it up and put it in your pack. Okay. Yeah, that tracks. Sure. Can we also get some mushrooms? <laughs> we see mushrooms, but no. We're just obsessed with the fairy dust. That's ridiculous. You find nothing else of interest around the mushroom ring. Not the mushrooms that we'll need later in the game. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's put the hands up. Uh, no, I hope we're not going to see this message a lot. Caught in combat with neither sword nor dagger. You are unable to resist the monstrous fierce onslaught. Try to be better equipped in your next life. Easier said than done. That's not a monster. It's the owner of a semi-successful Let's Play channel. All right, so it really is random as to whether or not these enemies come on these screens. All right, the Meeps are to the west here. Hello, Meeps. Let's talk to the Meeps. You hear squeaky muttering from beneath the ground. It seems the Meeps are having quite a discussion about you. All good things, I hope. Hiya, hiya, please, I'm Angel. Talk to Meep. Hey, just ask about anything you want to know. Ask about shop. <laughs> Gee, boss, I really don't know much about that at all. Hey, sorry. All right, well, let's see. Ask about green fur, which is going to get me what instead? Oh, you want some green fur? I think I have some green fur around here somewhere. There's some apples. Well, eaten apples. Oh, it is green fur. Ask about... Let's get that scroll as well. Oh, you want a magic spell scroll? I think I have a magic spell scroll around here somewhere. Here you go, help, help, help you. Alright, finally, something in this world that makes sense. Get fur. Within the clump of green fur, you find 45 silver. <laughs> just some pocket change the me pad. And then we just toss away the fur. That's the best part. Alright, we have money, though. We are... We are about one... Ninth the way to drinking a cool, refreshing Miller Lite. <laughs> There's no way I'm spending my money on that. Get scroll. Wrapped within the scroll, you find Trollbeard, an odd gift from a meep, but you accept it nonetheless. <laughs> I love it. We're just like finding gold, but we toss it away because we, we, we want the dirt that was around the gold. Fantastic. And we're dead again. I wish I could restore faster. I know I'm going to be saying that a lot. But we are saving. I don't think I've ever had to save. How come my stealth hasn't gone up yet? I've never saved quite as often as I think I'm going to be in this game. This might be a record for saves. Oh my god, get me out of the goblin training area. My goodness. We need a weapon so bad. God, when we take out the goblins at the goblin training grounds, are we even getting any money? Are we going to get like some old chewed gum or something? What a rundown place. Watch us have to pick up 
this route in the middle of the day and it's going to be uh, like an old baseball card or something. Hello, Centaur. Go ahead, ask him something. Um, uh, how to make this world make sense. Ask about... How about his daughter? Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry, I know a little about the bear and his family. Yes, that is his voice. Alright, I don't really have anything to ask him about. Alright, what else? What else we got? Oh, the, the, the nest. Can we climb? The bright smell of fresh herbs mingles with the aroma of wood smoke as you near the hut. Which means neither of those things is here. <laughs> Remember when we smelled apples and we saw Miller Lite instead? Let's see, let's check our stats. We do have some climbing. Climb that tree. All right. I love any sense of normalcy I can get to like the original game, and this this is ticking that box right now. Stats still go up, right? That's that's a thing. I see that whatever that turned into a six that went up a little bit. Mm, agility and strength are going up. My stamina obviously is going down. This might be worth it. I don't know what's in that, that nest, but it's something we need to get at some point. Of course, once we get on that uh, branch, we're probably going to fall on our face. I can't throw any rocks at the nest. We have no throwing abilities. Pick up rock. Oh, are these even rocks? <laughs> we're going to get the dispel potion by trying to pick up some rocks. Oh my god. Rocks are real. Are rocks worth money in this world? Nothing would surprise me about this at this point. Throw a rock. Oh! Doesn't make sense. We probably have no shot at hitting the nest. Throw a rock at nest. Yeah, this will probably never work, but... Oh, okay, I was going to say, at least our strength will go up. Not happening. They say I hit something? They say there's no chance of me hitting something. I missed whatever that said. I at least want to get rid of all these rocks. Yeah, these don't really seem to be having any sort of effect on anything ever. Let's keep trying to climb. I think if we run, maybe the climb animation will be faster. Or is that just Quest for Glory 3? No, it's marginally... It's marginally the same. Oh, we're so tired. This might kill me. They go straight to death in this version, don't they? We just saved. That might have been part of the, the random patch. Oh, our climbing went up two points. Two points, everybody. That said, I don't think your climbing needs to be that high to get this nest. There we go. And by nest, I, of course, mean a 1993 uh, IBM... PC. He's still posing. Good lord. Alright, get Nest. Look at Nest. A ring. Alright, get the ring. Yep. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes when you go out on a limb. Alright. Are we gonna die? We're about to die. But we're not dead yet. Climb tree. Uh, you knew how to climb it a second ago. Come on, man. Come on, Chance. Which, you know, the more I hear it, I, I really don't hate that name. It's not a bad name. Chance. Chance McRandom. Come on, man. You got this. It's one thing to not be able to climb it right after you fall, but like ten times later... You forgot everything you knew about climbing this a second ago. It's not that complicated. I don't know. I'm surprised our health isn't going down. It, it did the whole, you're exhausted, everything hurts. They must have fixed that. I, I say fixed, but whoa, that animation looked different. Maybe it's just weird kind of speed. 
It's weird how the experience is going up just from climbing. I guess just as your stats go up, they give you experience points, which are not related to our score. A lot of numbers going on in this game. That was a good... <laughs> that was very... All right, there we go. Get the ring. But be careful. Do I need to type carefully? <laughs> oh, why couldn't I randomly have some spells? Uh, climb tree? First try. Get ring. That's all right. Oh, that's not all right. <laughs> Had you been healthier, you probably could have survived that fall. All right, so I guess we got to try this later. Um, weapons. Oh, you know what? We can go to the... Uh, Talk to me. Can I come in? Open the gate. Sure is. <laughs> Very well. Is that all it takes? Like a troll or a knight gone? Could, I can't afford that. Oh, actually, I probably could, but I'm not going to waste my money on that. All right. Is this guy going to pay in money? Miller Lite? Green fur? Yes. Work. Wait. What was, like, the timer on that? Yes. All right. Surprise! It's not a shovel. Six mushrooms, rich. <laughs> you paid me in mushrooms. This is where we fight man for paying in mushrooms. Aggressive, aren't you? I don't know, narrator. Are you the kind to just roll over when someone pays you for a hard day's work in mushrooms? Still live on the planet Earth where mushrooms are nice, but they're not going to buy you Miller Lite. Not at 405 silvers per. All right, we'll get some more mushrooms. Oh my god, we're about to die. Let's turn in some of these mushrooms, assuming she even wants mushrooms at this point. The fragrance of the herbs mingle with other rather, pun rather pungent odors as you step into the healer's house. Lovely day, isn't it? Ma, you look very healthy for an adventurer. You must be new. I don't think I look that healthy. I fell on my face about ten times in the last couple minutes. I just did a bunch of raking for mushrooms on top of that. All right, components. Ask about components. I'll pay you for cheetah claws, troll beard, magic mushrooms, and flowers from Arana's Peace, which are actually found in the hermit's hut. Don't ask questions. All right, do we have any of the... I think we... Do we have basic mushrooms or magic mushrooms? Give mushrooms. These are very nice. I'll dry them and grind them into a powder. Let me think. Oh, yes, I can give you 50 silver for these. Nice, we're making some money. Give her some more. Oh, now she only gives me five because she's... Seems like they uh, depreciate it in value very quickly. All right, give beard? Don't tell me you actually killed the troll. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I talked to some adorable little green creatures. That went too fast for me to read that, but that's fine. It's more important I get my half-decent joke out. <laughs> Just half-decent. All right, let's ask about shop. Oh my god, she does sell some potions. Oh, she has the seed. That's fantastic. Oh, wow. You're only charging 55 silvers for the paper? Man, that guy, the, uh... It's the... Who's selling them for a crazy extortionate price? It's the dry goods guy? Yeah. I'm buying all my pieces of paper from you. Buy seed. I hope this will help you. You pay Amelia and put your Asperia seed in your pack. Progress. Yeah, I... I don't know. I thought I knew where the ring would be. Well, it might still be up there. I don't know. We almost died. What time is it? Sunset approaches. Um, all right. We probably have time to get this. We probably have time to die five times and route to the dryad. Yep. We got your seed. You do want the seed, right? Again, you feel a sense of closeness with nature. Sure did. There you are. All right. Now this will boldly grow where none has grown before. Heed now my words, friend of the forest, and heed them well. 
Friend, you must know that there is an evil in this valley which perverts the ways of nature. Yeah, I've noticed nature's awful perverted in these parts. The prophecy says the hero will bring a young human from out of this darkness. If you are the one to accomplish this task, there is a potion to break the enchantment which you must have the healer make. Alright, what do we need? Alright, so the components are still the same. We need the flowers, the fur, the dust, the acorn, and the water. Which might be the Miller Lite, I'm not sure. <laughs> Quite honestly. Is it actually an acorn? Wait for it. You pick up the acorn, cracking it open. You discover the dryad's gift of a mandrake root. <laughs> All right. Well, I know a certain ogress, assuming she's still an ogress, who will be happy to see us. Should I take that up to her right now, actually? This is very entertaining as far as I'm concerned so far. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.